currently the vote kick system in place allows you to remove people, unwanted people, from your game. As you can see here, just going to the menu and going to kick player, you're able to kick people normally. However, let's say, for instance, Derp Duck was to change their name to Ibex, or there is a stuck special infected on my versus team, like a bot jockey or bot smoker. If I wanted to kick something like that, I would have to type in status. Status would give you a list of information here, but the thing we're going to want to pay attention to is user ID. Each person and playable character has some sort of user ID, which you can use to call a vote from through the console. Now, like I said, this can be useful. Like I said, Stuck Jockey or Griefer, who is changing their name to be another person in the game. And simply put, you just do a call vote, kick, and let's say, let's just, you know, throw it over at Zoe here. As you can see, it'll pop up the vote, but it'll go through democracy. You have to vote for it. So let's say that I want to remove somebody forcibly. It doesn't matter what the reason is. It could be that I don't like particularly somebody that is on the server, or I think somebody might be cheating, or I just want to Greek somebody and, you know, get a reaction out of them. It doesn't matter what the reason is, but this can be easily abused. Now, you saw earlier that I was able to call from console to status here, just to, you know, able to get all this information. However, simply typing in the call vote kick and then putting in the user ID or whatever the entity I'm trying to kick doesn't, it, it still goes through the democracy system. Other people have to go and vote against it. However, let's say I want to forcibly remove Derp Duck from the server. All right. What I would do here is I would bind it to a function key because function keys can be used during the load screen. And I'm going to want to rejoin the server here. So I'm going to do call vote kick 2218 because that is his user ID. Bind it to F9. And I'm going to rejoin the server here really quick. Now this can be done between load screens as well, but it's not as consistent. So I'm going to go ahead and rejoin the server that I was just on. And basically just during the load screen, I'm going to keep spamming the function key that I bound it to. As you can see, Derp Duck has been fo uh, forcibly removed from the server here. And no, you know, democracy went through, just immediately remove them. Nobody has a, any consent over what just happened. And this can be done to remove anyone from the server whether it's somebody in Spectator, somebody on the other team, or someone on my own team.